And then the others, there were a lot that we just continued to go to like we didn't miss a beat. Office. I don't know. And I don't think many people do know what's going to happen. Now, even though we hear folks all the time, we want them back Tuesday through Thursday, it, but do you need as much space? And so office is really a huge question mark. We see buildings in Houston, Texas now selling for the land value. And the reason, and, and, and I say the land value, and here's the logic. I buy an office building, and the user now wants $100 a square foot in TI, $80 a square foot in TI, $75 a square foot in TI. So if I do a 10,000 square foot lease, that's three quarters of a million dollars requiring that the next tenant, seven years, doesn't want that's got to be ripped out. That's the real problem with office is the tremendous amount of capital to keep it leased. And that's why so many folks who are walking away from their buildings are saying, I know what we paid for it, but it's what we've got to continue to put in there to do new deals. We can't justify it because we don't. Well, how can I justify doing $75 a square foot in tenant improvements plus pay all the commissions for a tenant that very well could move out in seven years? So that's the real challenge is. Years ago, we worked closely with Steel Case that had a wonderful solution called Workstage. I loved it. They would come in, they'd raise the floors, they would everything was underfloor ducking, the electrical and the HVAC. You could go in to someone on Friday and say, "We want to reconfigure the seventh floor," and on Monday it was done. Wow! With 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 Workstage, it was all completely a Steel Case solution. It was fantastic. So you didn't need to do all that TI. Now, the initial investment was hefty, but then you didn't have to keep ripping stuff out and putting stuff back in. Until we see that take hold and find a way to reduce it, they've got two problems. One problem is people don't want to go back to office because they don't want to commute. And then the second problem is the constant reinvestment of, of TI in the space. So it's not just people wanting to go back to the office. That's part of it. I'm not so sure that the heavy TI requirement isn't a bigger problem than getting people back to the office. Now, people think that they've cracked the code because now they've got on-site daycare and they've got workout facilities and they've got food service and they've got shared conference facilities. And that's all cool stuff. But we haven't seen the migration like we want. So I don't know. 